Assalamu alaikum this is Dr. Hasna and today we will be discussing the hip bone its ileal part. Let's talk about the ileum bone first as I mentioned earlier ileum bone is that bone that lies superior to the acetabulum and what is the acetabulum I already mentioned that it is a fossa for the hip joint formation. The acetabulum is basically connecting all three parts of your hip bone which are the ileum, pubis and ischium. Today we are talking about the flat expanded bone that lies superior to the acetabulum known as the ileum. The ileum bone has a couple of parts. The first part of ileum bone is its upper end. The upper end of the ileum bone is known as the iliac crest. Then the ileum bone has three borders, three surfaces. The three borders of ileum include the anterior border, obviously if I am holding it in the anatomical position, we all know this is the anterior side and this is the posterior side. The anterior side contains the anterior border which runs from the anterior superior iliac spine and the anterior superior iliac spine is basically prominent anterior end of your iliac crest. It goes all the way below a notch as you can see is formed. After the notch comes another prominence called the anterior inferior iliac spine. And finally, it runs to the acetabulum and becomes a part of the acetabulum. This was the anterior border of your ileum bone. Let's talk about the posterior border of the ileum bone. Posterior to the iliac crest lies a prominence called the posterior superior iliac spine. The posterior superior iliac spine begins the posterior border of the ileum bone. This runs down and comes to another prominence called the posterior inferior iliac spine. Obviously, if there are superior iliac spine, there is a reason they are superior because there is going to be an inferior as well. Hence, this is the posterior inferior iliac spine. After that begins your greater sciatic notch. This is the greatest arc of your entire hip bone and the upper border of this notch is forming the posterior border of the ileum bone after which it ends and the ischium bone starts. Then we have the medial border of this bone which does not lie, this is the outer surface, this is the inner surface. The medial border lies in the inner surface of this bone. The medial border runs all the way from the, as you can see the iliac crest, all the way to the iliopubic eminence. The iliopubic eminence is a, a prominent area that lies between the ilium bone and the pubis bone. This is the iliopubic eminence, this entire border, the medial border is going to be running from the iliac crest to the iliopubic eminence. In the lower part of the medial border of the ileum bone, this is going to be forming the pectineal line which we will soon talk about. So this is the pectineal line now. However, on top this is the medial border of ileum bone. Let's talk about the surfaces. There is an outer surface that lies towards the outside as you can see acetabulum is here that means this is the outer surface. This is also known as the gluteal surface as the three gluteus muscles will originate from this surface. And then it has an inner side. The inner side is divided by the medial border into an iliac fossa which is the anterior to the medial border and posterior to it is this sacropelvic surface. The sacropelvic surface itself is divided into a upper iliac tuberosity, then the auricular surface which is going to form a joint with the sacrum and finally the preauricular surface which is forming the upper border of the greater sciatic notch. So that was about the borders and surfaces of the ileum bone. Other important parts of the hip bone that you should know to understand the attachments of the hip bone are the once again this is the anterior superior iliac spine, the anterior inferior iliac spine, the acetabulum, the posterior superior iliac spine, the posterior inferior iliac spine, the greater sciatic notch. After the greater sciatic notch, we will talk about this in more depth in the ischium bone. However, let me just brief it out. The greater sciatic notch then extends into the ischial spine. This is a protruding area beneath the greater sciatic notch. After which this notch, because there is a greater, obviously there is a reason that it is called greater because there is going to be a lesser. So after the ischial spine comes the lesser sciatic notch. This is the obturator foramen, this is the exterior of it and this is the anterior of it. So that was all for your bony features of the ileum bone. In the next video we will discuss the attachments of the ileum bone.